hello everyone welcome to another treasure design tutorial today i am going to recreate this design this is a second amendment t-shirt design and for a design like this i am going to use a font that is called no safety zone and this is the text i will be using so before starting the design process for making a design like this this is not a design for army or veterans this is a design for the gun control law so i am going to use a use some kind of guns like this and for this one i just downloaded some vectors from free pick so these are all from they are all free to download from free pick and i will of course add some vector links in my group so you can download them and practice but as they are free to download so anyone can download them so you just cannot download and use them you have to modify them for making your own design and for doing that first of all i am going to start with this one they are all free to download so you can simply download them so this is the one i want here i want a flag with this gun background this is what i want for the first place so i am going to place this one here i will add this vector in my group so you can just you will have these designs so this is the one i will use from this one and nothing else from here so let's close them and for this one i am going to use this part this hand part of the skull and because this skeleton hand and i will make it holding a gun something like that i will try so i don't need this part so i'm just going to let's try to just keep this hand but you can see there are some details so first of all let's copy them then i'm going to place them here but of course i don't need this part so i'm going to delete that part and this is the bottom part of that one so that is good to go so this is the part i will need i'm going to keeping this right now like this and then i'm going to i'm i need to this skull because i want to create i want to use a skull but if i use this skull this can be copyrighted because this is on vector and anyone can download but if i can modify it then i can maybe use it and for modifying that design first step is i need another skull that is going to be this one so you can see this is with a army helmet a night vision watch a night vision helmet so this is the one i will use here and then of course for the other one i am going to just use this one so if you if i cl keep clicking here you can see i can separate these parts like this skull is what i just want nothing else so i'm going to select this one and copy and then i'm going to place it here so these are the elements i'm going to use in my in this design and maybe some guns like not these guns okay let's just start the design process so these are the vectors i'll share in my group so you can down you will be able to download them from my facebook group then you will be able to use it so i'm going to copy this one and then bring it to my main artboard where i will be designing this one so first step is i am going to do some modification and that is i don't need this all these colors i just want to make it one single color graphic and for doing that i am going to expand them first so go to expand and expand like this and then once they're expanded i'm going to simply merge them sorry i'm going to trim them so first i'm going to trim and then it is going to be like all these details are going to be cut through like it is going it is being trimmed so something like this that is fine and now i want to simply select these lighter colors and then delete so it is going to delete all the lighter colors it is only keeping the dark colors here and this is what i want and then if i select everything from here i can simply make it black so you can see making it black is filling some of the areas like this is the gap here but if i make it fill it is going to fill those areas some areas like that so for fixing that i need to first of all create a empty stroke here no fill no stroke sorry no fill color no stroke color but this is a stroke so if i select that with magic wand it is going to select some extra areas so those are the empty strokes that were filling so if i delete them now it is perfectly fine and if i select this one i can simply change the color 
so you can see now i have a complete one single color graphic here and the same i will do here and for this one i am just going to i don't need this part of the skull sorry i just want this part so this small part here this microphone option i am just i'm not going to use that one so this is the option i will use i'm going to select it okay before that i'm going to delete these parts and here i'm going to select everything then again trim so it is looking like this with magic wand i'm going to select this color then delete it is going to se select everything that was in that color and something like this close color and this is going to be delete so all i left with is this black color i can change the color here so i have another black color graphic so that is the main part i need to do here and then for this one i'm going to use that same technique this is that is trim or you can simply click on this black color then cut it then press ctrl a for selecting all then delete and then press ctrl f so ctrl f will paste it in front so you can see now it is not grouped i have to select everything and then group together so that is good and for this one here this hand of course i'm going to do the same maybe i will need to change the direction a bit so okay that is not changeable don't worry nothing we can take care of that so i'm going to select this one trim it and then of course with magic wand i'm going to select this black in case if there is anything you can see these are the empty stroke so i'm going to delete them and then press ctrl f here again and here i just left with this graphic but this is also not grouped so let's first of all group them then change the color to black okay so i hope you understand this process so here i have all the graphics in complete black color i am going to make it a full color design but i will do that part later so let's just join this so i need to sil simply select them and then align in the center position that is good then i am going to place my this helmets like this area i want to cover that eyes and this is how it is looking don't worry just change the color so that we can see Control X, Control F. That means I want my this helmet to be on top. So this is how it is looking. And what about the area we can see through this helmet? I want to hide them. So for hiding that, this is really important to understand. I need to select that graphic, whichever one I want to hide. So I want to hide this skull. So I'm selecting that one. Then open transparency. Click on this clip. And here I need to draw a shape or i need to hide the area that i want to hide you can do that simply with pen pencil tool or any other tool pen tool pencil tool that is just fine just with pencil tool make sure the fill color is black and this is complete black and then i just if i draw something here that area will be that is that is going to be hiding so this is how it is looking wherever i want to i am drawing the shape in black it is going to be invisible and for making that perfectly we can simply use our pen tool here because there are some area that should be precise so from here and of course from for this area like this i am going to stay inside this color of this helmet here and don't worry about this area it will be fixed but it will fix just let me finish this part so that is good and for here i want to just hide this one so all the area i wanted to hide it is covered like this now i need to go in this direction so you can see if i bring this and join it here it is going to hide everything that is under this shape you can see i am drawing a big black shape here so whatever i was there it is now invisible so for this one i am going to make it black again so you can see now we have a new graphic that is just a combination of two different graphic and of course this is a unique one not 100% unique of course but you can see let me show you so this is my original graphics and this is my new graphic so of course there is a bit difference between them and you can work like this so let's just delete this one so this is the main area that i wanted to create here now this army helmet is not really important with a second amendment design but still i wanted to create it in this way 
so that is good now this is going to be the background of my this design i'm going to place it something like here and then for this one i'm going to place it here just like this make sure that it is completely in the center position and you can see it is looking like this not really looking cool so first step is cut paste in front that means i want to keep this on top now after selecting this one i am going to simply just create a outline for this but as you can see there are those are the area of the skull that is hiding here but don't worry so for now what i am going to do here is i am going to simply select this one this skull first then i am going to create offset path for that skull and something like okay 10 pixel is a bit bigger let's make it something like 5 pixel for now not meter round so this is how it is looking let's press ok and cut it now i am going to select this part of this gun and flag then i am going to open transparency and press ctrl f so ctrl f is going to look like this now i need to merge unite so merge unite is going to make it a complete one single graphic but you can see these are the area there the skull is not visible here so it should not be visible in this one too so in this part i am going to erase like this so not like that here inside the sunglass so it is looking like this don't worry now i need to select my this one this helmet graphic again i am going to create the same size offset path cut it now select this one and then press ctrl f and here again merge unite so merge unite will make it one single graphic and as you can see here so this is what it is looking like make sure it is complete black and you can see now it is visible on top of my that flag and guns whatever was there so this is the first step of my this design and it is good and for this hand here i am going to place it something like in this area but it is i don't want it to holding the, those two guns here i just want to hold them something else so here was another gun and that is going to be this gun here so i'm going to select this one copy this i'm going to paste it here so that you can practice now let's okay i'm saving this in eps format so anyone can download them and like this so this is how it is looking but this gun is a bit old style gun so let's not use that maybe i'll use one of this gun okay so this is the gun i will be using and i'm going to place it here that is good and maybe in this direction i want it to be so i want that hand to be holding somewhere between here so this area i want that hard hand to hold okay so before that i'm going to simply select this one mark trim and then again i'm going to use that same technique to delete this part selecting them all making it black but it is still that problem so let's cut the black delete this part ctrl f to paste in front group then change the color so this is how it is looking now for this area i want to on that hand to be holding here okay i want these guns to be a bit bigger in size so for better understanding i'm going to change this color ctrl x ctrl f that means cut paste in front so this is the area i want this hand to be holding it should be a bit realistic something like this is good for me i think yeah that position looks good so i'm going to select this one then bring a copy here then reflect it again i'm going to select this one then click on this one that will become the key object now align it with the center position and again i'm going to and now i'm going to change it to like this so it is going to be it is going to look like this hand is holding this to come it is not very realistic but it will work for us so this is how it is looking now don't worry about this so here i want to do some modifications like this this part of the hand will be behind that gun so how to do that first of all 
this area that gun is visible from here so this should not be because this because of this hand because of this finger so that gun should be invisible from this part and for doing that i am going to select this gun okay let's do it together i'm going to select these two gun and group them then i'm going to open transparency and here i'm going to just draw some random areas here it should not be visible and of course something like here so wherever this hand line is i'm going to draw a shape here and that is perfectly fine and for this area i want this gun to be on top and this part of the hand to be invisible but let's i'll do that later so for this one here i'm going to select all of them then i'm going to bring a copy here reflect it and let's try to match it here if i can match it then i don't need to redraw it you can see it is matching so just hiding those area and that part is good to go here i want to hide this hand so i'm going to select this hand and then open transparency here and then from here i want to just hide the area of the hand which is overlapping with the gun here nothing else so this part i will keep as it is because that should be visible but not here so something like this and that is good don't worry about how it is looking right now it is going to work so i'm going to select this all of this and then i'm going to bring it here reflect it of course and then let's try to fit in here okay i don't think it is easier so let's do it in this way so it should be invisible and then from this one this area of course okay so here is a bit problem so this one and this one if i select this two and minus front it is going to erase that area anyway so you can see this is not being completely invisible because this is not black this is red color so if i select everything from here then make it black it is going to make it complete invisible don't worry about this area so this is how it is looking let's click here and then change the color to black so you can see when it is complete black it is going to match with my graphic so this is how it is looking and that is really good for me i'm going to select all of it then group it and then i want to place it something like here okay so i need to make it bigger maybe so this is the area now i think i need to change in my plan so i'm going to cut this one i'm going to place it somewhere else and then from here i want to first of all i'm going to align them in the center position and then bring it here ctrl x ctrl f to cut paste in front and this is how i want it so i'm going to first of all select this one so again i'm going to do that same thing sorry for doing this again cut it i'm going to select this group this guns group ctrl f merge unite to make cut and sorry merge unite to make it a complete one single graphic delete it here and then of course this one this helmet so i'm going to make same size offset path i hope you will understand this process this is the same process that i did on the flag one so this is how it is looking right now my that graphic is on top and then the gun is in the background and that is good so i'm going to select this one then this one i want to modify let's delete it so again maybe i will just bring in this graphic here so here i can simply change it this two let's modify the graphic first i'm going to place it in this direction Okay, not like that something like this and that is good so for here i am going to erase this part okay i don't need to erase i can simply remove them also i don't need this part here that is this is not really important but 
yeah so this is the graphic i wanted let's trim it and then i am going to select everything in this lighter color and delete them again select everything i'm going to make it complete black color graphic so that is good and then for this area i'm going to make a group here and this this one i want to place something like in this area so this is good let's make a copy of this align in the center position and then this is how it is looking let's group it so this is a group and that flag is another group let's align them and if i select this one this gun group inside that i will find this shape this two shape let's copy them then i am going to select this plug this flag group and then here i am going to paste that same shape here so this is how it is looking maybe i can simply make it a bit bigger in size so let's make it 10 pixel make sure it is complete black color and that is fine and then i'm going to copy this again i'm going to go to this group and inside here i'm going to press it so this is how it is making a bit bit more visible so that is fine now for this area i want to i want to do like this part of the gun will be on top of my flag but this part of the flag will be on top of my gun so let's try to do that i'm going to first of all select my this flag group create offset path not 5 pixel this time i'm going to make it 10 pixel okay maybe not 10 pixel just make it 7 pixel or something that is fine just cut it i'm going to select this part of the gun open transparency okay so sorry guys not here i need to select this gun group only and you can see now it is selected and here i want to press it i want to place it here so merge unite to make it one single graphic now the problem is i wanted to place it here but in this part i wanted to keep the gun visible so i'm going to select it and then i'm going to erase this part make sure that you are not erasing here just erase in this gap area of course there will be another gap you can see so this is the gap area i am talking about and then i need to just erase everything but inside here and of course from here to i can simply erase that part because that is the gun part here and that is fine just don't worry i needed this part only so that is good now here i need to create a offset path of this guns group then same size click ok cut it now i need to select this flag option and then inside the transparency press ctrl f this is how it is looking merge unite so merge unite will make it one single graphic that is not, not a problem the problem is here so you can see here we pay, keep the flag on top so that is the problem creating here so let's erase this part only here and you can see now the flag is visible on top of my gun so this is a bit advanced level of transparency if you can understand it well then you can make big designs. you can make advanced designs anyway so this is how it is looking right now nothing to worry about i'm going to select everything make them a group and then i will add some text here so you can see my this this part of the gun is a bit longer so let's try to fix that if i can i'm going to select this part okay so maybe that is not selectable anyway that is i can so i want to place it something like this so no not that much long and this is how it is looking let's maybe place it here and then i want to delete this part okay so this is how it is looking let's copy this one and then i'm going to do the same thing here this is not looking very perfect but don't worry we can take care of that and this is the part here okay let's delete this and then press ctrl f so ctrl f is going to press it here let's bring it in this side 
and then press Ctrl R. Ctrl R means reflect for me because that is my shortcut. You have to set that manually and you can see this is how it is looking. So that is good for me. Let's select everything. Okay, that is they are already grouped. So this is the main graphic area that I wanted to create here and for now the rest the text area I am going to select in this style. Okay, not like that in this size. Okay, so this is the text I wanted to use here in this design. Okay, what is that? That is just empty text part. So here in this text, I am going to use a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free estate. So this free estate is going to be my first focus text. I want to make it bigger. And I am keeping three lines on top and then four lines of in the bottom. So I am not sure if I will keep four lines in the bottom or not. Let's just for now, let's make it three line in the bottom. So four in the three in the top, three in the bottom. And here I want to make this one the bigger text. Keep and bear arms. So that is how I wanted to place it. Let's bring them here. Let's just keep it here. So for this one here, I am going to place my text now. But before that, I want to bring in some, bring in my ruler. And with ruler, I am going to place a guide here. And as because that is the widest area of my design. So whatever I am going to do, it is going to take this much wide of the design. So I need to fill every this part of the design. Otherwise, it is going to be a bit smaller in size. So that is good. Now for this one here, I want to make this free estate a bit bigger in size. Don't worry about anything else right now. So I'm going to lock the guides. Now I'm going to select this part. So this text a bit bigger in size. Then just select them and expand it. Now I want to select everything. Make this the key object and then align it in the center position. That is good. And then for this two, okay, there is a bit gap here. I'm going to select everything like this three line, then distribute the space between them, align them in the center position. That is also fine. Now I want to make it same size bigger, same size wider as the this guideline here. So this is how it is looking. Let's make it make an effect here, maybe arch effect so arch effect is okay sorry for that if we were using multiple lines then we should make them a group now they are they will act as one one object so wrap and then arch and this time it is going to look something like that we don't need this much arch just a bit lower maybe 3 20 to 30 percent 30 percent looks good to me and then bring it down so I, I don't want to make it a too long graphic, too long design. So that's why I'm just overlapping some areas here. But don't worry, I'm going to select everything and then expand the appearance. This is how it is looking. And that part is good. And then for this one, I'm going to break it. And this is, I'm going to make it same wide as this design. This, like the rest of the area. Border, then selecting this three. I need to align them, distribute the space between them. Then I'm going to align with this one in the center position. So this is the center position. Let's make it a group. So that is fine. Now for this area, I'm just going to place, I'm going just going to apply same arch, but this time I want to place it in the opposite direction. So just put a minus in front of that percentage and it is going to work. So also here I will be doing a bit overlapping here and of course okay guys so I made a mistake here and the mistake is I wanted to align the text but I applied that arch effect before doing that. Okay so this is the previous position now I want to just adjust my text here so that it fits in with the 
void of the design and that is good let's just make it a little smaller here maybe a bit more just like that that is fine now here i want to create a star just to make it a variation and then i'm going to align them in the center position distribute the space that is fine let's group it now align it with my this object center position good and this one too i want to make all of them same size wide here because i don't want them to make invisible like this is a long text so if i just place them like very small it will not be visible so this is how it is looking right now now make them a group and then i am going to apply that same effect that is the arch effect but in this time it is already taking the minus because that is what i applied here so let's place it something like this then i'm going to select it make this the key object to align with my this graphic so that is fine now as you can see this is how it is looking right now we could have do, done many other things to make it look a bit more good looking graphic with adding some extra details to it but let's just not do that okay so okay guys i am not very much satisfied with this part of the graphic so let's try to do something else here so this is the before expanding the text situation now i am going to do it in a different way because i just don't want to place them very easy way so and here is a gap here you can see the little gap i want to fill that area so how to do that i'm going to simply draw a shape like this in a stroke mode so that i can see what is going on here and that is good now for this area i want to make it a bit bigger in size so that is good and this is in the center position so i want to place it something like this then i will create an offset path for it just like this a little area and then i am going to create another offset path here so this is the these are the three ellipse i am creating here i am going to place it here like this and then the right of the people to i am going to cut this text selecting this one this middle one here then i am going to try type on a path tool and then press press ctrl v so ctrl v is just for placing it here i am going to make it in the center position it is not visible right now but i can change the direction of the text like this so this is the way i wanted it let's change the baseline to center okay so in this position i want to make it bigger in size so that it is it becomes a bit more visible and this is you can see this is the bigger i can go if i make it more big it is going to be very close to the ellipse i don't want that but still i want to fill this shape this area so let's increase the text spacing a bit that is good and here i want to just put something in this area just to fill that and then i'm going to place another one here i'm going to select this two then align it center wise so that is good now for this area here i want to just i want to simply hide all the details that is visible from here and for doing that if i select this one this skull and hand holding one the main graphic group of my this design let's open transparency and here i want to just hide this area whatever is now visible let me show you so just like this and you can see it is looking like that hand is coming inside of the ellipse here just make sure that you are staying inside this black shape of the ellipse if you go like this it is going to destroy the design so don't go that in that direction 
so you, you can see this is how it is looking and it is good so here now i can simply place my this text so this is just going to give me a variation of that text placement instead of just placing in some simple text so i have already this effect here i don't want i don't need to do that again in this area and here i want to just place my text again i'm going to select this text to make it the center position and then here in a gun design or kind of a soldier design we can use stars so the, these are just our helping elements in this position then i'm going to select this three <coughs> sorry align them then distribute the space between them that is fine let's make them a group and then i want to make it same size wide so this is really important for me to fill all the white because it is going to already take this area so keeping them empty is just not very useful so for this one here i can simply make it same size bigger and it is going to look like this okay let's i'm not worried about this part let's just keep it as it is for now we need to do some modifications so as you can see here in this area it is not looking very good i need to select this three then this one and then this one i want to make them a group and then if i go to this gun group inside the transparency i will find the shape of the flag that i pasted here then copy this shape and then i'm going to select this group open transparency and then press ctrl f here so ctrl f is going to place it here like this and it is going to make a separation of that shape here that is good but that ellipse is visible through here you can see in this area so i'm just going to draw a shape from here and that is going to be invisible so that is good and for this area it is not looking very good so let's try to just fill it with the same wide area and let's see how it is looking so this is how it is looking and not very good because it is not matching with the curve there but we can okay let's not match it with the curve i have another idea that is i want to place another star here just to give it okay now this star is a straight this text is going in this direction so selecting this star i'm going to need to go to object transform and then share and here i want to make it in this direction just to give it a feel like this is also going in that same direction so that is good let's bring a copy here and then reflect it it is going to look like this selecting this one to make sure that it is in a perfect position that is fine so you can see this is how it is looking it is there is a bit overlap between the text and the flag so i am going to select this free estate one then i am going to create offset path for that now i need to make it there is too many small details here you can see so that is going to be a bit difficult for me to make that offset path so you need to do it at once do not okay so that mistake i already made i don't wanted to click on this preview because it takes a lot of time to make that preview but i just want to make it 10 pixel then okay so it instead of just taking that preview it is going to give me the original file here then cut it now i am going to select this shape this entire group and inside them i am going to press ctrl f so this is how it is looking right now don't worry about the areas i just simply can hide this part of the graphic and also this part and then this part okay this barrel of the gun that is visible but that's not a problem so this is how it is looking now i need to do a modification here as you can see as i was saying so this is not perfectly matching with my this curve here so i can simply bring them a bit down just like this then i can simply apply same effect on this again but this time not in that direction the original positive direction so not 20 percent let's 
keep it kind of 10 to 20 percent that is good and expand it so this is how it is looking don't worry about the rest of the area now for this area we can just simply add some other shapes just to fill that so this is the lightning bolt graphic where i always stuck but this time it looks good group them now i'm going to align them in the center position that is fine and for this area we can simply place anything but placing any smaller thing will just make them invisible so i don't want to do that i can simply make some bullets here so yeah bullets are good options because we are making gun design but i don't know if i have any bullets in these options here okay so i have this i also downloaded this one so maybe there is a bullet come on yeah so this is a bullet here i am just going to place this one in this area i have two or three designs maybe in this same style like placing bullets in this area and i love this process so something like this but in this one i don't want to keep all the details in my bullet so just make it merge unite to make it complete one single color then i'm going to place it align it with this position that is the position of my this graphic and maybe a bit smaller in size then one more here just a little bit smaller and this one i want to make it a bit longer just to fill that area anyway so you can just place anything here okay let's not do that for this area i am not going to do that option so let's place a star here just i think this is good okay so this is how it is looking and uh, sorry guys i wanted to make a easy one but it becomes a bit complex so this is the original design right now and i am i wanted to make a full colorful graphic but it's already too long of a video so let me know in the comment section if i should make another video on the coloring process or not but for now this is the final design so it is not perfectly fitting with my this artboard but that is fine it should not i mean that is not really important every time so this is how it is looking okay guys so that's it for today's video let me know in the comment section i will try to make a colorful design of this one or i will try to explain the coloring process here that's it see you in the next video guys have a great time thank you everyone thank you for watching